tea? Oh, yes, please. And what are your plans today? I don't know, really. Kind of at a loose end. I thought I might nip round Eileen to pick up the rest of my stuff while Sean's at work. I know you probably don't want to wear this right now, but you have done the right thing, you know. Yeah, well, the right thing sucks. It would have just eaten you up inside. We still love each other. I know you do. So isn't that supposed to fix everything? What happened to love conquers all? <sighs> yeah, but you both want different things, don't you? No, I want different things. Sean's just an innocent bystander. Marcus, this isn't just a hissy fit. You want to be a dad? There's no off switch for something like that. No, what if it's just some stupid pipe dream? It's not. Maria, I'm 34, single and homeless. I'm hardly ticking all the boxes. Listen, you are a warm, funny and incredibly loving man. You'll meet someone else. Yeah, so is Sean. Remind me how that turned out for him. Sorry. Uh, I just feel like I've gone back to square one and it's slightly scary. Mommy! I'll get him. Hey, you'll always have us, you know. I know. What do you think's keeping me going? I am flaming knackered. Yeah. Car will be with you in five minutes. Thanks for choosing streetcars. Right, pick up fresh goes chop chop. Oi, I've been at it since six. Get somewhere else to do it. Well, there isn't any. Tough. Five minutes. Hello, streetcars destination, please. Oh, wonders never cease. You finally decided to grace us with your presence, have you? Um, yeah. What's your address? Just take no notice. It's been chaos all morning ever since that palaver at Primo Cabs. That was good. Mad Goran had another meltdown. Yeah, the car will be with you in five minutes. Thanks for choosing streetcars. Fact half his workforce. Man's certifiable. Well, that'll explain why Mickey wants to jump ship. Yeah, well, fat Brenda's cousin, Sasha, works at the arcade two doors down, said there's been all sorts going on. Are we getting all the business? Hmm. Lock, stock and barrel, that's good, isn't it? Uh, better than a kick in the teeth. Mm, the best that I've ever run pulled their way. All right, keep your hair on. <clears throat> what have we got? Um, airport run. Piece of cake. I hope you're taking notice. Nobody is bigger than the game. Nobody. Oh, you're an example to the children. And you, enough of the attitude. Streetcars, what's your destination, please? Oh, I'm aching all over, Haley. Honestly, I can barely move. Oh, go back to bed. Oh, yeah, chance would be a fine thing. Oh, tell Mrs. Connor I'll try and make it in tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, I will do. Yeah, see ya. You look how I feel. Oh, cheers. I think it's safe to say you're not going to the market today. No, I've just called in sick myself. <sighs> oh, cheers, have you got the energy to make that bottle, please? Well, just give us a minute, will you? There you go, Jess. Oh, somebody please just shoot me. Oh, is she all right, then? Yeah, look, she's right as rain. Yeah, Joseph, too. Looks like it's just us three, then. For the moment. Right. Oh. I'll go make that bottle. Oh. Oh. Mm. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'll go make his bottle. Oh. All right, sweetie. Oh, Mummy just needs to shut her eyes for a minute, please. <laughs> oh, do you know, I'm going to call Dr Carter, see if he'll come over. Oh. Does he do home visits? I think he might have to. Hmm. Sixteen, can you pick up, please? Steve, I know you can flip and hear me. Right, you asked for it. Near, far, wherever you are. And I believe that the heart does go on. What? You see, it works every time. I'm on a break. Yeah, well, not today. We've got a backlog like you wouldn't believe. I couldn't care less. The last fair was an absolute nightmare. Three times I had to go back. First of all, it was for a hairspray, and then it was for a blue cardi because the beige one didn't match her new holiday slacks. And then she got it in her head that someone was trying to hit the patio chairs. Have you finished? And all the while, her husband just sat there, no complaints, just with a glazed look on his face. Felt like I was taking it, maybe put down. Steve! What? Get a grip. 
Give me the details. Right, it was another airport job party. Wilson, Alicast, <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Yeah, thanks, mate. I needed that. What's happening? I've just been guessed by some flipping muppet from Primo Cabs. <laughs> Holy! Right, I'm not having this. Steve! Killing Muppets? What do you say? You don't, Tar. Not a problem. No, I really didn't think you'd be here, you know. Well, I just couldn't face the Oestrogen Inquisition, so I took the day off work. I was going to pick up the rest of my stuff, but I can always come back another time. No, there's no need. I've got to go out and get some shopping anyway, so. Are you sure? Sean, I, I really never meant for it to end like this. I'll leave you to it. Could be the egg gasket. Nah. I bet you any money's the fuel injection. Nice little runner, though, eh? Only 150 on the clock. This must be one of Primo Cab's top of the range, the creme de la creme. You are never going to let me forget this, are you? No, in this lifetime, no. Looking well, though. And yourself. Listen, I... I got your text. I'm sorry I didn't reply. No, I'm sure you had your reasons. Fancy a brew? Hmm. Perfect timing. In preparation for your forthcoming physical exertions, I've prepared a suitably balanced and nutritious lunch. Oh, Roy, that is incredibly sweet of you, but honestly, I don't think I could eat a single bite. <laughs> oh, well, well, perhaps a calming cup of chamomile? Then. That would be smashing. You were sorry. Afternoon. Oh, hiya. <laughs> oh, somebody's in a good mood. <laughs> well, I've got my dance exam later, so uh, the excitement's starting to build. <laughs> oh. If it was me, I'd be a bundle of nerves. Oh, well, Alan, my dance partner, is a very calming influence. Although, if truth be told, there are a few butterflies starting to flutter around inside. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. You'll sail through it. Isn't that true, Roy? A foregone conclusion. Oh, well, uh, I'm not counting my chickens. <laughs> I just hope that you haven't paid too much heed to Norris's so-called instruction. <laughs> Delusions of grandeur notwithstanding is hardly weighing sleep. <laughs> I believe what Mary is saying is, uh, look to yourself for inspiration. And pray that the shopkeeper hasn't given you two left feet. <laughs> Looking back now, it's as if Tracy hypnotised me or something. Ah, oh, well. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Well, there's a disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, not about my pathetic existence. Come on, let's have it. Truth be told, there's nothing to say. I ended up in Jamaica. Yeah, I have some. I had to get away from here, mate, after everything. I mean, this place. Besides, it was long overdue. Must have been great. It was all right. That ain't just all right. Well, I thought I'd find the answers or something, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was great seeing the family, but... <sighs> I ended up just drifting. I think the worst place is to chill out. Yeah, you're not wrong there. The beaches, the lifestyle, the incredibly hot babes. Oh, my heart bleeds. None of it was real, mate. I was a tourist, literally. And then there was this property deal I got involved with. Property deal? An incredibly exciting investment opportunity, is what they called it. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Ah, responding to an SOS. Is someone poorly? The entire house, by the sounds of it. Ah, it's nothing serious, is it? No, that's what I'm just about to find out. Well, I better come in, will you? Oh, I... Oh, crikey, O'Reilly. Look at the state of you. So, the fact it was a swamp didn't give it away, then? The term used was reclaimed land. Sorry, my mistake. You're having a pop now. I just don't understand why you didn't recognise the warning signals, you know, like crocodiles or a neighbour called Shrek. 
sorry. How much did you lose? Not a lot. Two grand tops. Problem was, the developer was a family friend. Things got complicated. I came home. Yeah, two months ago. Look, I wanted to get in touch. Well, why didn't you then? Now, what was I going to say? Hey, loser Lloyd's back in town. Fancy a lager? When I left, it was supposed to be a fresh start, a brand new dawn. I mean, look at me, Steve. My life's at zero, and the needle's going backwards. So where are you living now? Renting a spare room down the road. Is it nice? Not really. Well, it's funny you could say that, because I've got a spare room myself. I mean, it's bijou, but, uh, has a certain homely quality. Is that an offer? Mm. Are you serious? Yeah, 100%. What do you reckon you're ready to give me and you another chance? I could manage that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got this flu that's been doing the rounds. But Joe's been hopifying. From what I can tell, yeah. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. What about work? Out of the question. At least for the next few days, anyway. Great, Mrs. Connor's gonna love me. Well, is there nothing you can give us? Well, not really. Aside from paracetamol to lower your temperature, the only cure is plenty of fluids and bed rest. <laughs> that's easier said than done with two little ones. So, uh, well, I'll look after Joseph and Hope. What? Yeah, they can stay around at mine. Less chance of them catching out that way. No, you're all right. We'll manage. Behave. It's like looking at the walking dead. She's right. We're not exactly pulling up trees, are we? Yeah, and plus Fizz's child mind is on holiday. I honestly don't see any other option. It would help speed your recovery. Maybe, but it still feels like we're taking advantage. Look, I wouldn't offer if I didn't think I could cope. What about your work? Oh, don't worry about that. I'll sort some out. Oh, come on, guys. This is what families do. Well, looks like they're all yours, then. Good girl. You won't regret it. Oh, How are you getting on? Yeah, almost there. Um, there's a couple of DVDs that I wasn't sure about. Oh, you have him. You're the culture vulture, anyway. Oh, tough. Uh, and I couldn't remember whether this was mine or yours. That's yours. No. Well, looks better on you. Oh, um, I had a load of photos on my laptop. Um, Dylan, Violet, us on holiday, pride, that sort of thing. I've, uh, burned you a copy. Thanks, that's very kind of you. Well, they're both our memories, Sean. Right, I, um, should be going. Any thoughts on where you're gonna live? Uh, yeah. I thought I'd go back down to London. Start over again. Get as far away from me as possible. You know it's not like that. Sorry, that just slipped out. Well, I wouldn't want you thinking that I was being reasonable. <laughs> no. That ship sailed, I'm afraid. Right, then. Let's get this over and done with. What's all this? What's it look like? Come on, sweetheart. It's OK. Where's Katie? She's at home. She's got the flu. Fizz and Chesney as well. They're sick as dogs, the lot of them. Plus, so they gave you the kids to look after? Oh, well, I kind of volunteered. And for how long? Uh, well, three, four days. Worst case, a week. A week? Anna, you're already holding down two jobs, love, without adding full-time nursemaid to the list. Admittedly, I haven't completely thought this through. Oh, you don't say. Uh, hey, hey, do you know what? Instead of criticising, why don't you help? There you go. Go to Grandad. Right now, then, darling, where are we? Now, we're going to have to get organised, aren't we, love? Right, I'll tell you what, me and Izzy will pitch in. Mm. Oh, love, no, you've got enough on your plate as it is. What, and you haven't? Mum, stop trying to be a hero yet. You've got to work. We'll take the evening shift. Are you certain? Of course, yeah. How hard can it be? Nothing changes. Nope. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. After the last few months, I can do with a bit of familiarity. Even say there's some rough times around here. Good times as well. Hey, listen, thanks for taking pity. Let's get this out of the way, shall we? You're not a charity case, you're my best mate. Besides Tracy around, I need all the backup I can get. Is that really all your stuff? <laughs> yeah, mate. Apart from my records, I'm a blank page. You all right? What's your? You're bad, then. Looks like it. Just a man I wanted to see is uh, number 13 still up for grabs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've had a few nibbles, but no bites yet. Why are you interested? Well, I uh, could be. Maybe I could take a look later. Be my guest. Mm. Yo, Kev, do you still do recoveries? Yeah, why? Where's the vehicle? The car parked by the precinct. Well, that sounds doable. Pop round, take some details. What are you doing? It's my Goran's problem. Yeah, I still drive for him. Not anymore. I can't have you working for the enemy. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Come back to street cars. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. You belong here. I don't know, mate. After what happened last time. Oh, come on, it's a water under the bridge. Look what you were saying before about a new door, and I'm offering it. Well, put like that, it's hard to say no. Well, then don't. Me and you in harness again, sky's the limit, so you up for it then, or what? In harness again? Bring it on. Let's go and inform her ladyship. Have you been? Well, it's a long story. Yeah, but it's a good one. How are you, kiddo? Oh, no! oh, Louise! Oh! Oh! Oh, Norris! Oh, where's the fire? Alan's had an accident. Alan? My dad's partner. Oh. I need you to fill in for him. Me? Well, there's nobody else in my exams in two hours. Two hours? I know it's short notice. Well, it is short notice. Can you not uh, postpone it? Well, if I postpone, I'll never do it. And honestly, it's taken all my courage to get even this far. Please, mm. Norris, you'll be my saviour. Oh, well, saviour does have a certain ring to it. <laughs> I'll also throw in a free lunch. Uh, plus a sweet. And beverage of your choice. Madam, I'm at your service. Oh, are you really certain, though? I'm not putting you under any pressure. Oh, no, no, trust me. I've been endured elephant feet Mary. The dance floor holds no fears for me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, about 30 minutes, Piccadilly Station. Thank you. Hiya. Hiya. Hey, mate. Are you going somewhere? Um, London. That's a bit sudden, isn't it? Why the rush? I just feel it would be easier for everyone if I made myself a bit scarce. By everyone, you mean Sean? Putting a bit of distance between me and Weatherfield couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt you? What about me? I don't understand. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've become pretty close recently. Do you, do you want me to spell it out for you? I'm gonna miss you, Marcus. So's Liam. Sorry, I... I didn't even think. Obviously. You know, the, your life's here. Your, your friends, your job. My former boyfriend? Yeah, and running away isn't gonna change that fact. Marcus, come and play. In a minute, sweetheart. Did you put him up to that? It's not my fault that he thinks you're brilliant. <laughs> OK, all right, fine. You win. Yay! You won't regret it, I promise. Uh, it might take me a week or so to find myself another place. Try, it's no problem. Stay as long as you need. Margaret! Come in! <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> a swamp? How many more times? It wasn't a swamp. Well, what did it look like? It hadn't been cleared when I saw it. Loads of vegetation and... Water. Tom! Oh! Tracy! <coughs> I'll blow the bell. <laughs> you started it. You started it? Not job magnet, traitor. Oh, do you know what? It's so nice to see that you both matured in each other's absence. <laughs> do you know, I've missed this. Well, I've missed this. The old team back together. Oh, well, much as I hate to interrupt this loving, some of us have got to keep the business afloat. Hmm? Actually, good point. I've got to go and break the bad news to Goran. Oh, rather you than me. Couldn't you ring him? I was hoping we'd go for a celebratory pint. I owe him a face-to-face. -face. We've always got one all right. Mm, didn't sack you for starters. Exactly. Hey, um, I couldn't... Uh, treat her gently. You the man. No, you the man. No, you the man. You the man. No, you the man. Oh, for yeah, goodness yeah. sake, get a room. <sighs> what? 
You're a good friend, Steve McDonald. Well, they'd do the same for me. Well, look who it isn't. I knew you'd show up here eventually. Carl. I'm only going to say this once. Stay away from Stella and stay away from me. Well, that's going to be a bit tricky since we're going to be your new boss soon. Come again? Yeah, me and Steve have agreed to reform our partnership. I'm just off now to hand him your resignation. <laughs> oh, this is a wind-up, right? Afraid not. Oh, look, it's a clean slate for everyone. Let's just let bygones be bygones, yeah? Well, suit yourself. But just so you know, I'm going nowhere. I can see pasty and chips for oh. tea tonight. Well, Paul's making us a stir fry. He's a whiz with his wife. Mm -hmm. Right, that is it. I quit. Join the queue. No, I'm serious. There is no way I'm working under him. What are you about? Lloyd, you've just been giving it the big I am about your partnership. Partnership? Yeah, I mean, you're a different class, Steve, but if that is the plan, I'm going to have to walk. Now, shut up a sec. Lloyd actually said partnership? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I know what I heard, mate. Don't look at me. It is your flipping mess. I, I offered him a job as a driver. You don't sound too sure about it. Well, I might not have used those precise words, Just but... Calm down. What exactly did you say? Well, I can't remember, all right? But it wasn't... It wasn't take off me flipping business. Oh, so what's the problem? Turn the flaming truth. Oh, yeah, just like that. The man's had enough knockbacks to last him a flipping lifetime. No, this is going to take finesse and, um deafness of hand. Yeah, neither of which you possess. How the hell am I going to get out of this? We'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour.